County Airport, Wooster, Ohio. Automated weather observation 1730 Zulu. Wind 160 at 08. Visibility 8. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus 03 Celsius. Dew point minus 08 Celsius. Altimeter 2 Niner Niner 1. Remarks. Density altitude minus 700. Afternoon, uh, Akron Clarence, Plata Snyder, 12 November Golf on the ground at Wayne County, request IFR to Golf Sierra Hotel. On Wayne November Golf, cleared off Wayne County to Goshen, okay. the uh, direct Mansfield, actually just as filed. Climb maintain 3000, expect 16000, 10 minutes departure. Departure frequency 125.5, 47463. 920 November Golf cleared to Goshen as filed. 3016 and 10, departure 25.5, squawk 7463. And one November Golf, three back correct, hold for release, device number one ready. I'll let you know when we're number one and ready, one November Golf. Okay, we're cleared as filed, which is Mansfield, and then direct. Got 3000 set in the altitude pre selector. 25.5 for departure, 7463. Uh, Brakes work. We'll be looking out, thank you. Wayne Guy. Beta works. Wayne County traffic, Plata 921 November Golf, taxi 10, Wayne County. Wayne County traffic, 733 Bravo, Kilo turning down, Wayne 10, Wayne County. Pusher test is complete. Well, thanks for joining me on this uh, PC-12 flight from Worcester to Goshen. Worcester, Ohio to Goshen, Indiana, guys. It's a nice day here in Worcester, but back in Goshen, it's uh, going to get kind of bad later this afternoon. Um, so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about decisions. But don't have long enough here for the taxi, so hang on a bit. And uh, once we're up in the air and cruise, we'll discuss decisions for this flight and potential decisions that we might have to make down the road. Clarence Plata, Snyder, to November Golf for number one and ready runway 10 at Wayne County. I'm sorry, is that uh, 1 November Golf, you guys number one ready? Hey firm, 1 November Golf, number one and ready at Wayne County. 1 November Golf, release for departure on course, Clarence Void in seven minutes. Release for departure, we'll fly our on course heading and uh, release and avoid time in seven minutes. One November Golf. Wayne County traffic, Plata Center to One November Golf, departing runway 10, Wayne County. Approaching runway All right, one flaps zero. and trims are set, ice protection coming Entering on, lights are zero. on, flight directors and go around remaining. heading mode. 3000 set, and that guy, yaw damp, or uh, excuse me, flight idle to go, and yaw damp is off. All right, here we go. We got a right crosswind. Gas is clear. Off we go. Okay, power set. Airspeed's coming up. Eighty. About twelve hundred feet. Positive rate on the brakes. Gears coming up. Hundred knots. Flaps coming up. Got amps on. Taxi landing lights off. Seven miles to the west. Forklift traffic. Turkey for zero. All right, we'll make a left downwind departure. Wayne County traffic. Plata Snyder to one November Golf. Departing the area to the west. Wayne County. Slow departure. Plata Snyder to one November Golf. Off Wayne County. Uh, leveling three thousand. Had a, call, a couple of people call up there. November 9 or 2, 1, November Golf, fleeing departure. I didn't climb maintain 8,000. I didn't climb maintain 8,000, 9 to 1, November Golf. November 1, uh, November 1, November Golf, further contact a mile northwest of the Wayne County Airport. Maintain uh, 8,000, direct Mansfield. Direct Mansfield, climb maintain 8,000, 1, November Golf. Alright, we're reset direct Mansfield. And climbed 8,000. November 1, November Golf County, Cleveland Center, 134.9, good day. 
Cleveland 134.9er, good day, 1 November Golf. Hello, Cleveland, Plata Snyder, 2 November Golf, 6,400, climbing 8,000. 921 November Golf, Blue the Center, Roger, call me, say 16,000. The, let's go, Mansfield altimeter, 2990. 16,000, 2990 on the altimeter, 1 November Golf. And we'll let George fly. Climb checklist, ice protection, got the inertial separator, probes, and windshield heats on. Autopilot's on, power control lever as is appropriate. ACS is on auto, cabin pressure, and engine instruments are looking good, and the bar barometric pressure is set. 10,000 pulse lights, seat belts, and it looks like we'll be clearing clouds for a while, so I'll turn the inertial separator closed. 1,000 to go. All right, we're here at cruise at 16,000 feet, so we're set our torque setting of 36.9. One November Golf, contact Cleveland Center, 135.1. Center 35 1, 1 November Golf, so long. Oh, center Plata Snyder 2, 1 November Golf, 1 6000. Yep, hold for a little bit. 2 November Golf, Cleveland Center, Center Mansfield, Seminar 2990. 2990, 1 November Golf. Alright, guys, we're here in cruise at 16,000, so let's talk decisions. Probably not uh, new news to many of you, but uh, pilots have a lot of decisions to make, and some of them can be tough decisions. Sometimes they're easier than others and so I'll walk you through today we have a winter storm coming this afternoon back to Goshen um, it's supposed to bring ice and rain and snow and it was forecast to be any time in the afternoon uh, sometime between 2 and 5 our original plan was to be back to Goshen around 3 o'clock so kind of right in the middle of that window and so I made the decision last night to bump up our departure um, to get back to Goshen around 1 o'clock to beat that weather in. And fortunately for me, the folks I fly for uh, are very understanding with those types of decisions. Um, if you're a pilot long enough, you will run into people that want you to fly anytime, anywhere, no matter the conditions. Um, and it can be tough to make a decision when you're getting a lot of pushback against it. There's a saying in aviation, superior pilots rely on their superior judgment so that they don't have to rely on their superior skills. I'm not saying I'm a superior pilot, but I like to keep that saying in mind when I'm making decisions. I try to make decisions that um, will not put me in a position where I need to rely on my skill and uh, to get out of this, the situation. As pilots, there's a lot of decisions that we have to make on the fly. No weather changes in route, um, emergency situations arise, things like that. And we can't avoid making those hard decisions in the moment. But you can make it a lot easier on yourself by making the decision in advance, like I did today. You know, deciding to uh, leave earlier to try to beat the weather back as opposed to trying to make decisions while I'm dealing with icing and slick runways and that sort of thing when we get back. So if you got any uh, experiences with decisions that you made that were a good call or maybe decisions you made that turned out it would have been better if you made it, you know, a decision to leave earlier or later or something like that, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Currently, um, back in Goshen, oh, I got a little turbulence, so apologize for the bumpy video here. Um, we got a pretty clear route. You can see um, a little bit of stuff, kind of spotty, um, just to our south. But if I zoom out here, you can see a pretty big system moving in. That's going to bring a mix of rain and snow and ice, and the temperature on the ground is right around freezing. So the concern here. Uh, is that the runway would get slick and um, complicating this weather uh, precipitation issue is that we've got a strong crosswind. Within the the uh, maximum demonstrated numbers of the airplane, this airplane can handle up to 30 knots of crosswind. But when the runways get slick, that poses a pretty serious issue with directional control once you're on the ground. 
So right now it looks pretty good. Um, I don't think we'll need to make a decision to divert. Um, South Bend is my filed alternate, but we have other ones that we can use. This weather is coming from the southwest, uh, so we can go back to um, Fort Wayne, or we could go north to Kalamazoo, or something like that. So we have options um, to deal with it if we would need to. But we've got 30 minutes left in route here, and it looks like we'll beat it by a pretty good margin. So looks like the decision to leave earlier was good. November Golf to send and maintain 11,000. November 516 Juliet, Romeo 2 According to the next route, it looks like the precip is still plenty far off. Uh, we could have probably even delayed our departure a little bit, but um, never a problem to get there further ahead of it. Going to have a, almost a direct crosswind of uh, 11 gusting 21 so that's a pretty significant crosswind um, the airplane is uh, able to handle 30 knots with zero degrees of flaps 25 with 15 degrees of flaps and 20 with 30 degrees of flaps and 15 knots with 40 degrees of flaps probably gonna have a little bit of ice on the airplane so we will uh, plan on only using 15 degrees of flaps and that will also help us to handle that crosswind with its gustiness. Alright, man, it's the sun via the Hannibal 3 and maintain... Let's see, we're getting some ice, uh, going to turn the boots on. Light, light so rhyme. One November Golf, contact Chicago Center, 119.85, good day. Chicago on 1985, one November Golf, good day. Hello, Chicago Center, Plotus 9 or 2 on November Golf, 12,000, descending 11,000. 6164, clear to the O'Hare Airport, direct Watson and SO5. Synthetic Watson? Direct Watson and the SO5. Okay, that I Watson, then the SO5, here, month 6164. So 9 or 2 1, November Golf, Chicago Center, Fort Wayne, Altimeter, 2974. 2974, 9 or 2 on November Golf. Legion 2439, contact Chicago Center, 127.62. Minus 300. Circuit 2536, the Center Maintain Municipal Zero. Airport, Goshen, Indiana. Automated weather observation 1815 Zulu. Wind 160. Contact Fort Wayne, 272 on November Golf, so long. Aircraft 3550, I have new routing. Well, Fort Wayne, Plotus 9 or 2 on November Golf, 111,000. Well, Plotus 9 or 2 on November Golf, full and push, 1,000 forward altimeter, 29 or 6 niner, set to maintain 4,000 policy discretion. My discretion to 4,000, 29 or 6 niner on the altimeter, 1 November Golf. Oh. 
Goshen Municipal Airport, Goshen, Indiana. Automated weather observation 1817 Zulu. Wind 160 at 14. Peak gusts 22. Visibility 10. Sky condition few 8000. Overcast 9500. Sounds like wind might be picking up just a little bit. 921 November Golf, descending 4000. 921 November Golf, Frederick. Okay, we're just starting our descent. Current uh, plan that we've made is uh, to use only 15 degrees of flaps because we'll probably have some residual ice. But the current temperature down at Goshen is positive one, so if it all does uh, melt off and we can verify while we're in the pattern that uh, the wing is clear of ice, then uh, we can go ahead and use 30 degrees of flaps. We'll still be within our um, max demonstrated crosswind for that flap degree. Well, that is one November Golf. Contact South Bend Approach. One three two point. Correction. One three two point zero five. That's correct. See you. South Bend on thirty two oh five. We'll see you one November Golf. Good afternoon, South Bend. Flight of Slender to one November Golf. Seven thousand descending four thousand. I do have Goshen's weather. I'm planning on the visual. Flight of Slender two one November Golf. South Bend Approach. Altimeter two nine or six zero. And descend to maintain 3,000 airfield, 12 o'clock, and about one five miles reporting site. Down to 3,000, 2,960, and I'll let you know when we see it. One November Golf. Approach Niner to one November Golf. I've got Goshen Airport in sight. Like cancel I far with you this time. Plus one November Golf. Roger. Our cancellation is received. Squawk 1200. Change the airport advisory is approved. No traffic observed. Squawking 1200. No to advisory. Nine to one November Golf. Goshen traffic, Pilatus 9 or 2 on November Golf, or 12 and a half to the southeast. We'll be entering a left downwind for runway 9 or Goshen. All right, looks like um, I don't see any ice on there. Temperature up here is plus four, so uh, a little bit of a temperature inversion, it sounds like. So we can go ahead and turn the boots and the prop off, and we can use our uh, normal... Um, we can use our normal speeds, our normal flap settings, whatever we want to. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and use 30. Sky right, minute weather two, here. 7,500. Scattered. 9,000. Overcast. 1, 1,000. Temperature, 0, 1 Celsius. Dew point, minus 0, 6 Celsius. Altimeter, 2, 9, 6, 4. Remarks. Density altitude minus 300. Goshen Municipal Airport, Goshen, Indiana. Automated weather observation 1824 Zulu. Wind 150 at 15. Peak gusts 22. Visibility 10. Sky condition few 7,500. Scattered 9,000. Overcast 11,000. All right, 15 gusts to 22 from 150. So we'll go ahead and plan on 30 degrees of flaps. Pattern altitude in turbine airplanes is 1500 AGL or above the ground. So uh, field elevation is 830, so we we'll use 2300 as our pattern altitude here. And we're going to have a pretty significant uh, crab angle. And then a uh, pretty significant crosswind on landing here. Goshen traffic, plot us 9 or 2 on November Golf, entering the left downwind, runway 9 or Goshen. Temperature here is negative 1, so uh, we definitely have a temperature inversion. Um, for those of you that don't know, an inversion is when uh, the air gets warmer as you go up in altitude. Typically, in the lower atmosphere, the temperature gets colder as you go up. So an inversion is when it's the opposite, it's inverted. All right, we're within gear speed, we're midfield, and go ahead and put the gear down. Selected down. And indicated we got three green. At about nine PSI of torque. 
within our flap range, so we'll set 15 degrees of flaps. Goshen traffic, Pilatus Niner to 1 November Golf, turning the left base from Way Niner, Goshen. All right, we'll leave the yacht amp on uh, and make it a little more comfortable for our passenger back there until we're on short final. And final is clear. Flap selected into game 15. Gear is down and locked. Goshen traffic, Golden uh, Pilatus Niner to 1 November Golf. Turning final, Niner, Goshen. All right, we'll go ahead and select 30 degrees or within the 30 degree flap uh, speed range. 500. And we've got 30 degrees selected and indicated. Got amp to go. A little bit high. Got amps away. Three greens. That was a challenge. Good gusty crosswind there. Bring the flaps up, clean it up. Goshen traffic, plot of Niner to one November Golf. Clear of the runway taxi to the ramp. Goshen. Reset the trims. The lights off. Hey right, guys, thanks for uh, riding along with me, and uh, we'll catch you next time.